hello friends in this video I will describe how to perform crude operation with code first in MVC 5 application we develop application with the help of entity framework 6 code first and scaffolding feature of MVC 5 in the code first approach we will not use visual model designer EDMX completely we write own POCO classes code first approach provide an alternative to the database first and model first approach to the entity data model and create database of us based on our classes now open a visual studio and create a new c-sharp web project name crude operation code first in the new asp.net project dialog box select the mvc template and click authentication in the change authentication dialog box select no authentication and click ok for this application we want to be required users to log on or restricting access based on who is logged in now back in the asp.net project dialog box and click ok to create the project we will use the entity framework 6 we check the version of the entity framework in the project if the version is less than 6 then use manage nuget package for update version of entity framework here you can see the entity framework version is 6.1.2 and I need to install this entity framework for our project click over the install click OK I accept and it's installing here you can see this is the successfully install the entity framework 6.1.2 in your project now close the dialog and go to the solution explorer for create the data model in the model folder create a class name add new item code select the class and class name should be employee.cs here the employee class should be created now we need to define some properties like employee id last name first name joining date and enrollments the id property will become the primary key column of the database table that corresponds to this class by default the entity framework interpreted a property that's name id or class name id as the primary key the enrollment properties is a navigation property navigation properties hold other entities that are related to this entity navigation property are typically defined as a virtual so that they can take advantage of certain entity framework functionality such as lazy loading if a navigation property can hold multiple entities as in many to many or one to many relationships its type must be a list in which entries can be added deleted and updated such as i collection in the model folders create enrollment.cs and define the properties enrollment id band department id employee id department and employee the enrollment id proper property will be the primary key this entity use the class name id pattern instead of id by itself as you saw in the employee entities the employee id property is a foreign key and that corresponds navigation in employee as employee entities is associated with one employee entities so that property can only hold a single employee entity the department id property is a foreign key and the correspondence navigation property is department as enrollment entity is associated with one department entity in the model folder in the model folder we need to create a new class name is department.cs and define property department id titles credits and enrollments the enrollment property is a navigation property a department entities can be related to any number of enrollment entities now we will create a database context class this class coordinate entity framework functionality for a given data model for creating the DB context we will add new folder named Dell here you can select add new folder Dell after that right click on Dell folder and click add new item select a class file and give the name employee context 
and map the constructor with the base database connection name we will create a db set property for each entity set in the entity framework terminology an entity set typically corresponds to a database table and an entity corresponds to row in the table now we need to specify the connection string open a web.config file and add the connection string element preceding the app setting element the connection string name same as mentioned in the employee context constructor here you can see the connection string name is employee context and in the employee context constructor we have also added the same name for using the connection with the database now we need to create a controller class for employee using the scape folding of the feature click on the add new scape folding item mvc5 controller with view using entity framework click here add given the name of employee model class should be employee data context class should be employee context and click here add here you can see it is giving the error so first we need to build application now again create a same process for using the scaffolding now here you can see just employee controller has been created with all the predefined action method like details create update delete all the action method should be automatically created in the scaffolding now we need use the same scaffolding feature to create a enrollment controller so in this video we have seen how to create a crude operation with the code first and entity framework 6 with using mvc5 i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video thank you